Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to go over a little bit of statistics with the TI-84 calculator. Most of the TIs are the same. Three different types of statistics I'm going to do here. One is just one variable statistics where we're looking at say six grades inside of a class. The second is a frequency distribution. It's still one variable statistics where it's the grades in the class and how many people got that grade. So four people got a 65, six people got a 70, eight got an 80 on the test. So this is a total number of tests, which adds up to 40, and these are the test scores. That's a frequency distribution. And then the third style of stats that I'm gonna do here is given two variables. Let's say this is test scores and hours spent studying or something like that. Two variables that depend on each other, and then we're going to run a regression on that all with the TI-84 calculator. So step one is one variable statistics. I have these six test scores here. I turn this graphing calculator on. I go to stat. First thing I want to do is edit my list. So I hit enter. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top until that list is highlighted. I'm going to clear that list enter and I'm going to go over to list one clear it enter and I'm going to enter my values in list one 65 70 80 85 90 95 so my list is all entered under list one I go back to stat I want to run a calculation so I scroll over to calculate I'm doing one variable statistics I hit enter. I'm doing one variable statistics on list one. There is no frequency corresponding to that. And I'm going to go down and hit calculate. And then there are my stats. The average test score for these six scores is 80.83 with a standard deviation at 10.57. I could scroll down a little bit further, see that the median is 82.5. That's going to be the middle value right in there because I have an even number of values as the average of the two middle ones. Okay, let's clear that. Let's go into our second scenario, a frequency distribution. Now I don't have six scores, I have 40 scores. So what I need to do is enter my frequency, how often they occur um, in my list. This is gonna be list two. I'm gonna enter four, six, eight, 10, 6, and 6. So I'm going to go to stat, calc. I'm still doing one variable statistics, so I hit enter. My values are in list 1. My frequency list, I'm going to scroll down to that, so I could hit enter. My frequency list is list 2. So see in blue right here, it says list. I go second, list. I want list 2, enter. So my actual values are list one, frequency is list two, and then I hit calculate, and now it's running a um, stats on this frequency distribution. The average now is 82, with the standard deviation of 9.4. N is 40, it gives me quartiles, and it also gives me my median as well. My median now um, is 85. So that's how you do a frequency distribution. Okay, let's take a look at a third case scenario where I have x at independent variable and a second variable y at dependent variable. Let's say x is how many hours I study and y is the grade on my test. So what I'm saying is the grade on my test depends on hours of studying. y would depend on x. So I could see that as the number of hours I study goes up, my test scores go up and I want to run a regression. So I have these data points somewhere on my graph like this and I want to find the line of best fit. That's called a regression. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to, same thing, it's a statistical analysis. I go to stat, I'm going to edit. Uh, first thing I want to do is clean my list or clear them. So I hit enter. So there's list one. My values are zero, one, two, three, four, Five. Then I'll go over to list two. My scores would be 60, 65, 75, 80, 90, 95. 
Now that I have my data entered, I go back to stat. I am going to run a calculation. So once calc is highlighted, I could run different types of regressions. I specifically want to run a linear regression. So I select linear regression, enter. It is saying list one, my independent variable is list one. My dependent variable is list two. There is no frequency. Uh, you could store it. I know we're just going to go down to calculate and I hit enter. So there's my general equation, y equals ax plus b. So then it gives me my specific equation. This is just like y equals mx plus b. So then I have y equals 7.3x plus b, which is 59.3. And that's my model, my line of best fit. Uh, and the power of that model is I can make predictions. So if I study exactly 2.2 hours, I could take 2.2, plug it in here, and get a corresponding value right there. So a little quick overview on how to use the TI-84 for three different types of statistics. One variable statistics, frequency distribution, and then also two variable statistics where you're running a regression. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching.